quite the week, folks. You had MAGA Republican Congress member James Comer spewing his bizarre fantasy conspiracy theories and just watching the MAGA Republicans twist into tubes and knots trying to settle on some messaging after Donald Trump's bizarre announcement on women's reproductive rights, followed by the Arizona Supreme Court bringing back an 1864 pre-statehood law punishing not just women, but also their doctors for providing reproductive health services. But you know who I want to see break this all down? Democratic Congress member Maxwell Frost and Gen Z spokesman. And to have Congress member Maxwell Frost do that with the Alien Super Show? Let's bring in those aliens. You're not going to want to miss this. I think I see a UFO, but I also burned my retina staring at the eclipse. To open the border wide, to invite everybody from around the world to come here, including hardened criminals and dangerous persons. <laughs> yeah, like this piece of and by hardened, I mean calcified. And now, please welcome Liberace. This week was so crazy, we really need a human perspective. I was anticipating this and have someone on hold slash suspended animation. Subject's name is Congressman Maxwell Frost, resuscitating now. Congressman, can we get you a water or anything before we get started? I'm good. You sure? No, I'm okay. I'm okay. All right. Just as a refresher, this is probably in my top five moments from the impeachment inquiry hearings. Dubinsky, uh, one witness who knows something about accounting but has no real involvement in what's going on. And Mr. Turley stopping here on his way to his next Fox News hit. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? I know. My mouth has never been so agape. It's so wild the way that these people are so not serious. We were just laughing the whole time. I mean, I wish you could. I wish they had a feed of just everybody, you know, like. Like not zoomed in. Yeah. Because we are cracking up. We need like a 50 box. Yeah. I'm laughing all the time on oversight. We need a frost cam. Yeah, yeah. Politico has a piece uh, out uh, saying that your investigation is fizzling. Is that true? And where are you in this investigation into it, the president? <laughs> Smile. Yes, it is. It's not true. And I think this investigation has been one of the most investig one of the most successful. Uh, I would agree. <laughs> this investigation <laughs> has been heavily investigated. <laughs> this is the most investigated investigation. I don't know if you can see, but it looks like he's crying. There is a tear. Hey, you know what, Glee? Real men cry. And I, I for one, salute yeah. James Comer for being vulnerable on live TV. This is the future that liberals want. <laughs> men crying on Fox News. Inflation-wise, conservative tears are worth, what, two times as much as liberal tears? Exactly. They're worth more. That's why the cups are, are smaller. Yeah. <laughs> the lib tier cups are big, and then the conservative ones are like shot Glass. That's tearflation. Yeah. Exactly. We've proven the crimes. Have you though? That tear is hanging on for life. <laughs> and what's the best way to hold the Bidens accountable? And I, I, He's I'm asking because he doesn't know. Stay tuned yeah. over the, over please the tell me, weeks. please. Stay tuned over the over the next few weeks. Stay tuned over the next few weeks. What will we be staying tuned for? Wait, wait, wait. We got to pause. Anytime we get a Fox follow-up, we have to have a moment of silence because that means a, a con <laughs> that means our producer in the control room has fallen ill or died. Oh, yeah. 100%. What will we be staying tuned for? I'm sorry. What will we <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, let me tell you something. Nine out of ten times when a politician asks for the question to be repeated, it's because they need some more time to think of the answer. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. good insight. I do it too. Because you have a damn earpiece in your ear, yeah. like dug into your ear. There's not like they were talking over each other. There's a staffer on the other end of the camera writing the answer, and he needed more time to write it. Big Sharpie. Just plugging this into chat GPT real fast. So. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe he was actually saying, I'm sorry. That was a genuine genuine apology to the American people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. The government was involved in a massive cover-up. The way you yeah, can tell they have no proof is that this is the time when you would show the proof Biden's next to him, but they I just I have pictures of Biden and Hunter. So oh, yeah. like, these two people know each other. We got them. They wanted to find the most mafia-looking photo of yeah. them, too. I mean, they look pretty badass. You know how we do things here in Wilmington, Delaware, okay? <laughs> you come to me in my 1,000-foot beach house. What's going to happen in the next two weeks? Well, we're going to be 
be giving Joe Biden an opportunity to answer some questions? Answer some questions. <laughs> the thing I love, too, is he sent out a fundraising email recently that said, well, we're going to be doing a criminal referral. <laughs> a lot of folks who are watching Fox News or reading that email think that's like a very serious thing. And people should know the criminal referral is the equivalent of me calling my local non-emergency police tip line <laughs> and saying, like, hey, I saw this guy smoke marijuana on the street. Like, that's the equivalent. He's going to call in the DOJ tip line and give a little recommendation. I spotted this guy at Cafe Milano looking a little sus. <laughs> the other thing I love, too, that they started doing is in these hearings, because they had nothing to pin on the president, instead of saying Hunter Biden, they would just say Biden, but they're oh, talking yeah. about Hunter. And then they started saying the Biden family, like it's a huge <laughs> crime family. The Biden crime family, of course. <laughs> well, Congressman, if you'd like to continue this aboard our ship, we'll beam you up. Honestly, to be honest, I didn't realize that we started the interview until about two videos ago. Okay. <laughs> I'm here looking at the clock like, when are you starting the interview? And then I realize, oh, this is the interview. So you're good then. Yeah. <laughs> so good. No worries. Gleep, fire up the alien. <laughs> Beaming directly to our congressional suite. Welcome to the ship, Congressman. You're an alien now. Let's keep it going. Mr. President, did Arizona go too far? Yeah, they did, and that'll be straightened out. Oh, okay. You know, it's all about states' rights. That'll be straightened out. Those crazy Republicans, we'll straighten them out. Yeah, we'll straighten them out. Hang tight, ladies. (laughs) Hold it in. We're going to bring it back into reason. You can't reason with them. That's the whole point. What do you think about Florida? Florida's probably maybe going to change all sorts. Potentially, hopefully. It's the will of the people. This is what I've been saying. It's a perfect system. It's a perfect system. It's uh, not working right now, and we might have a way to fix it. We don't know. And you're getting the will of the people. It's been uh, pretty amazing when you think. I do feel like Trump kind of latches onto these will of the people. States rights. Yeah, states rights. That one's been around for a while. We're going to refresh states rights. Can't use it for that slavery thing anymore, but you know, it's an abortion thing. It fits right in. The war of female aggression is perfect. Is this going to be, do you think, a big issue in the 2024 election? Yeah, it's going to be a big issue every time because... uh, Because people really don't like it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, These women make a big stink over their rights being taken away. You have folks on really on both sides, really probably more Democrat, that wants abortion literally when it's coming, when the child is coming out of the birth canal. (laughs) Yeah. That's what we want. Mid birth abortion. That's what we're fighting for. Coming down like a water slide and just boom, right there. Like whack a mole. Yeah. When the baby's graduating from college, that's a great time. Exactly. (laughs) That's that late term abortion. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're looking for. Joe Biden and the Democrats. Oh my God. I know this person. Really? (laughs) So when I was running for Congress, I was one of two Gen Zers. And the other Gen Zer running for Congress in New Hampshire against Chris Pappas was Caroline Levitt, I think is her name. And so when the press found that out, every damn article I was in, they'd put us in together and be like, here's two sides of Gen Z running for our That's exactly what we're doing on Alien Super Show. We become our own enemies. (laughs) They try to get us to debate each other, too, and all this stuff. And at one point, my campaign manager was like, how does this help us win? Yeah. Yeah. And we were like, yeah, you're right. Let's not do this. Uh, yep. <laughs> Let's Smart. not engage. Can you guys do some TikTok dances for us, please? That would be <laughs> yeah. awesome. I don't know. You would have missed some gems like this one. Yeah, I know. Let's see. Many Democrats have also expressed abortion beyond that state after the child is born and laying on the hospital bed. That is infant side. That is execution, as Jesus. President Trump called Infant it. side. <laughs> not even what it's called. They want to butcher babies like I butchered yeah. that word. <laughs> I like to think that the executioner is like any first words. Yeah. <laughs> first meal. Yeah. Gerber's flavored steak or chicken. Is she like the new Kaylee McEnany? Oh, uh, she wishes. I think she is for the Trump campaign. Yeah. And I think it's funny that they are doing it in front of the White House, too. Yeah, yeah. that's such a good point. If you look in the second window, you can see Joe in there. <laughs> yeah. The people on the left are so de- desperate, attacking Trump now for an Arizona Supreme Court ruling. Yeah. that upholds what is a civil war era law banning abortion. <laughs> this will be fixed in the next week or two. Just wait two weeks, women. Thank you so much, Sean Hannity, for that reassurance. <laughs> in two weeks, you'll have your human rights. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. We're just going to borrow a little bodily autonomy for a second here. Exactly. You know, Just a patch update. Should be fixed. Yeah, no yeah. worries. I'll make a couple calls. Got some sway with these fascists. <laughs> I can pretty much assure that that will happen. If Democrats, you want to get rid of the law, well, you have a chance right now to get Get rid of it. They tried. <laughs> they literally tried this night. They were denied. They have a countdown for the election. It says two 
208 days. Oh my we God. We're too far out for a countdown. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. 208 days to our next big L. <laughs> President Trump on the move today. What, what is this? Do you know Greg Kelly? Yeah. Oh, it's good that you don't know. It's Newsmax. Oh, it's Newsmax. Bless you for not knowing who this is. And what's this background? I mean, yeah. this looks like when you're on shrooms, what things look like. <laughs> <laughs> not that I know. I heard from some people yeah. that that's what it looks like. Arizona, which outlaws pretty much almost all forms of abortion. Uh... It could present some problems. Some here. problems. Bit of a pickle. Turns well, out our platform is incredibly unpopular. <laughs> I think this is a good law. This issue can be exploited to the hilt. It can if we're not talking about it in the right way. How do we spin this? Yeah. What are we going to do? And let's talk about this on live television. <laughs> it has been an issue for years that Republicans... I got to tell you, that's a Republican room. Yeah. <laughs> Holy sh**. A taxidermy with the MAGA hat. Classic. We got Blue Lives Matter flag. Fake 50 style microphone. It's a mic to remind them of the good old days. <laughs> and a white globe. Yeah, that globe, that's a racist globe. For sure. It says the Orient <laughs> and Siam on yeah. it. For sure. <laughs> state Supreme Court, does that qualify as a state decision? Yeah, uh, that's Fine. what it is to be pro-choice. Yeah. The states can decide. That's what it means to be pro-choice. The state can decide whether or not everybody else has the choice. Technically, all dictators would be pro-choice then because they're choosing that no one else has a choice. It is a sacrifice they are willing to make. Yeah. yeah. What is it from Shrek? Yeah. <laughs> it hurts Trump for a few days and then people start to realize this is not the worst thing in the world. It doesn't Amen. affect me at all. I'm a wealthy white man. I'm telling you, just, just relax. If you had to travel to another state to get an abortion, it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, buying a bus ticket to go somewhere to get it is not the worst thing in the world. Jesus. Oh, unreal. We need to put him on a bus from the Florida Keys all the way to Georgia while you're pregnant and see what he thinks about that. Make a weekend out of it, yeah. you know? Take a couple days off. Oh. Stop at Disney. Take a tour of Savannah. A little vacation. So what if you were just raped? Download some podcasts. Stay in a Marriott. Take our abortion tour up the East Coast. That's actually going to become an industry. Uh. Mark Simone here for Greyhound Buses, where the life of the mother starts with the right of your life. <laughs> it's so dark. It's so dark. While former President Trump orders Chick-fil-A, surrounded by everyday supporters, President Biden toasts with the Clintons, tech moguls, and they with celebrities like Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and what's with this pointing? <laughs> you. My African American over there. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't I see you at a rally? Yeah. There's my, my African American. American. So can I have 30 milkshakes? Can I get 30 milkshakes? And uh, what do you guys want? <laughs> milkshakes for all. That's better than a living wage, right? <laughs> yeah. You want a union? Here's a milkshake. <laughs> I'm going to really slam Biden for getting ice cream. But yeah. uh, here, milkshakes. If you work at a fast food place, you know, making 30 milkshakes sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, God. And at Chick-fil-A, they're hand-spun. Wow. A lot of forearm power. Yeah. <laughs> and also some chicken. Some chicken. He's really ordered before at a fast food place. It's a great franchise. The owner is a great man who is a member of one of my clubs. And one of my clubs where we can get away from all you people. All these HBCU students that you see here, oh. I brought them here to meet you. Oh, uh, that stage. Yes, yeah, so we've also knocked doors for you in the past for your past you reelection have. bid and when you ran the first time. So right? this is an organic <laughs> meeting. Yeah. Some poor field organizer was tasked with this. You called it. She was invited by the Trump campaign and was a total plant. Yeah, Come here, let me give you a hug. No, no, don't do it. Don't do it. This is the first time he's asked for consent for one, maybe? I don't know. Just trying to see the <laughs> yeah, yeah. trying to see the bright side here. That's why the Secret Service are there. It's not to protect him. It's to protect the <laughs> civilian population. What we just saw mm -hmm. is something that President Biden and the Democrats do not want to see again. Black folks embracing Trump. Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to let us forget about this one. Black folks who previously campaigned for Trump. <laughs> They're not even AI generated. <laughs> <laughs> real. That's a real. <laughs> they don't have six and seven fingers. <laughs> all right, well, time to get you back down to earth. All right, Congressman. All right, all right. But feel free to visit anytime. Next time we're voting on a new speaker, I'll like beam up again. Okay, yeah. That <laughs> yeah. could be very soon. <laughs> that might be happening tomorrow. Exactly. It'll be a better use of my time. So. <laughs> <laughs> I am Super Joe. This is a magazine that I've never read, but probably doesn't like Trump. Hiya, thanks for tuning in. If you like the show, help us keep this spaceship going. Subscribe to our YouTube channel or drop a comment. We read them all. If you really like the show, subscribe to our Patreon, where we share bonus content that didn't make it on this episode. Okay, gotta go. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>